What does it mean to be an interventional radiologist? Well, it's essentially image-guided surgery. We have a unique privilege as interventional radiologists to use imaging not only to diagnose disease, but also to treat it in a minimally invasive way. We're basically everywhere except uh, the brain and the heart. We're in vascular structures and non-vascular structures. So whether it's by putting in a stent, which is a pipe or a balloon called angioplasty, or whether it's draining um, an abscess uh, in an abdomen, um, stopping bleeding, uh, those are the types of things that we can do by using uh, these x-rays uh, in a room called an angiosuite. Technology is critical to interventional radiology. Being in this new interventional radiology suite that is state-of-the-art, it was a partnership with Canon. There was an incredible team that came together to get this done. A big part of our work all the time with uh, imaging equipment is um, largely how to get it in. We may have to crane it in, truck it in, roll it in, push it in. It's all ceiling mounted, so there's a lot of structure that goes on in the ceiling to support the items. We spent a lot of time during design on the lighting. Well, to someone it's like, well, light's a light. You know, three by three or five by five space is a five by five space. But to someone else, it's not. We, we do see that with frontline staff, we get to see more of the functionality and things that they truly need to have, like the day-to-day -day stuff. And that's what I mean by like the built environment. The difference between how high a counter might need to be or you know, preference of a, of a color, um, why things need to be placed um, where they need to be. And I think the role of a uh, provider of medical equipment is to make the user's life easier, but most importantly, uh, make sure that uh, it drives a positive patient's outcome. Every system we develop, we develop with the goal to improve patient outputs. And uh, the, this particular product, the Angio Suite, is all around the patient. So the systems move around the patients. The CT portion, when needed, the angio portion, the interventional uh, component of the system when needed. The patient does not move. The patient in an emergency case doesn't need to be moved from one room to another room. Patient comfort is critical for every procedure we do. A patient who's more comfortable is less anxious, and that leads to overall better outcomes and a better experience for the patient. One of the things we've done is we've added ambient lighting to the room. We've added the ability to have screens that can display relaxing nature so that we're constantly thinking about how can we improve things to deliver better care for our patients. It expands the scope to not only replacing equipment but to support the patient care and the staff that work in the area. What you want to make sure is that the, uh, you know, the patient at the end of the day is the core of every decision we make. It's always cutting edge. I think that's what UHN is always striving to do. I can't even comprehend how the next thing is going to be. I think what makes my job special is the impact I have on patients. And at the end, if you're able to save a life or cure cancer, that's ultimately what it's about.